Welcome back everybody to Tenza Motorsports. Today we are going to be looking again at our 128. Excuse it being super dirty, it is winter here and the car has been being driven quite a bit. So at this point we have about 750 miles on our Mobile One oil change. I changed the car at just before 67,000 miles, maybe 20 or 30 miles before that. And right now the car has 732 miles over 67. So together that is about 750 miles and the results so far have been pretty um, boring, to say the least. Uh, we haven't seen any difference in gas mileage, uh, no difference in performance, no difference really in warm-up times or anything like that. The car has driven quite normal for the last uh, month or so. So at this point, uh, the only thing that I can really think of to look at would be to actually physically pull the oil cap off again and look at the same locations that we looked at the first time before we did the oil change and that is just inside the valve cover and then I, I can also check the oil filter to see if that's getting uh, like dirty uh, prematurely. Uh, so we're going to be pulling out the endoscope again which is made by Depstech. That uh, link will be in the description below. So far that one's been pretty good. That's a 5 megapixel one. Uh, you can't move it around a lot. If you hold it in the same spot while you're looking at something it does pretty good. So if anybody's ever curious about what endoscope to get that one's pretty good for like 40 bucks or whatever it was. So. Let's get this car, uh, we can pull it forward here a little bit so we can get a little bit more room. We'll pop the hood and check inside what's going on. And then obviously around the same mileage we'll be doing the same thing to the X3, which we put AMSOIL in and the engines between the two cars have essentially the same mileage. So it'll be interesting, this will be a straight across comparison for the most part. So let's get the car pulled forward a little bit here, pop the hood and see what it looks like. So there we are at 67,732. So that puts this car at just around 750 miles. Now before we take a look at this, I do want to mention one more time that I did see royal purple differences in my race car after 500 miles. So this has 750 miles. Now the biggest difference is this engine wasn't nearly as dirty as the heads that I put onto this car when we were doing that testing. So we will just see how different it is. And the oil filter, I guess, will probably be our biggest sign. If the bottom of the engine was really dirty and we couldn't see because we were only looking at the top, a lot of that crud will come and get stuck in the oil filter. So we're gonna look at both of those pieces here, and this will be our 750 mile check-in. And I will probably do another one closer to 1500 miles or so, and then we'll just play it by ear from there. All right, well, I am very surprised that this is as dark as it is. I was not expecting this at all. After 750 miles, your engine oil really shouldn't look like this. Now, the other thing that you'll see is the oil filter looks like it's been smashed a little bit. I think I put it in wrong, or maybe this wasn't the right height. This shouldn't affect anything since it's the proper diameter. Uh, it's just been pushed down a little bit. So I'm not super worried about that, but this engine oil is actually quite dark. So I'm gonna pull a little bit out of here which is my oil filter housing and it's storing some oil so we can see it here on a white cloth and I will go and get some new mobile one so we can see them side by side after 750 miles. So here is some new mobile one on my zip tie dipstick and then here is some 750 mile mobile one. So that is a huge difference between those two colors there. So I'm, I'm very surprised. So that means that this is cleaning the engine because I don't have any other explanation of why it would get that dark that fast. I know it darkens up and, and people were getting upset that I mentioned that the royal purple had gotten dark because of the dye. This is not normal in my opinion. Now somebody in the comments might be like, hey it gets to this color and it stays that way for 10,000 miles or whatever it is. To me this looks really dark. So that is saying to me that it's actually cleaning parts of the engine because this wouldn't have gotten dark if the engine was completely clean. So from just this result right here, I can safely say that I don't think that the shell that BMW sticks in these cars is SN plus because it wouldn't have the detergent levels of this mobile one. So 
My next thing I want to do is pop the oil filler cap off and check just inside the valve cover here and look at the same locations we did last time to see if there's much of a change. And I'll show uh, the footage side by side because I have the original footage. So I'll show, I'll show that side by side and go back and forth. But at this point, um, this makes me want to check my oil a little bit more often. I'm very interested to see what happens after 1500 miles because if it continues to get dark at this rate, I will probably change it sooner than expected. So I just got done scoping this. Obviously, I'm going to have to review that footage before I can say anything definite because I want to see the two uh, views side by side before I comment on it. But for the most part, from what I could see, it didn't look like it had changed very much. All right, well, I had a chance to review the footage. Uh, so this first video here is the before. This is the first time we took the endoscope down into the top end of the engine. And we're gonna be looking at three different locations. The first one is right here. Now, I tried my best to look at this one and find the difference between this one and the after. So this next image coming up here is after 750 miles. From what I can see, there's very little difference between the two. It, it reminds you of the pictures where you're supposed to spot the difference and I just really didn't see anything and what makes it even worse is unfortunately I have them at different angles. I'm looking at the the same location from a different angle so that kind of messes me up a little bit and unfortunately if you look here on the right hand side there's some icons just ignore those. Those will also show you that that's the after photo because it's on all the other ones. So the next spot we're going to be looking at is this dark section just over here. Now this one was the one that caught my eye the most when we did this the first go around so I definitely made sure to check this one out. So here is the before. This spot here, I, I don't know what it's from and I don't know what causes it but there's nothing else in the top of the engine that looks this dark. So here is the after photo. Again, same thing here. I didn't really see any difference between these two photos and I looked very carefully to see if there was any difference, any movement, if it had changed colors or anything and I just don't really see much between those two. So I'm just gonna keep an eye at this part specifically. I think if we see any major differences, this will be one of our locations that we will be seeing that. So on to our third location, and unfortunately, like our first position we're looking at, I didn't get this one at the same angle, but we are looking at similar parts. So if we follow the camshaft along the top here, we get to this section right here. This is what we're gonna be looking at. This is our after footage here, and everything still looks pretty clean, especially compared to the before. I don't see any major changes, but this angle right here is what we're gonna be looking at mostly, and like I've said on the past two locations, it just hasn't changed very much. So again, 750 miles, the engine was pretty clean to begin with, so I understand that it's not gonna change very much. So there's a before picture of the same location. I apologize, this one's a little bit fuzzy, but that's showing roughly the same location. And then here is our after 750 miles, same thing. And again, no real change here. So we're just gonna keep up on this. So the biggest change we saw in 750 miles was the oil color. Now that might just be me, I might just be crazy and, and be overthinking it, but to me, I think that's a little dark for the oil at 750 miles. So that wraps up our endoscope footage. Now back to past me. Overall, I am uh, very surprised that I got this kind of result out of this test. In fact, on camera here, you can barely even see this original uh, mobile one, the clean mobile one here on the top. This is definitely a good result for us and hopefully our AMSOIL will yield the same types of results for 750 miles, considering that both these cars have been running on shell for a while now at this point. So I'm gonna get this all put back together. Uh, this is dirty, but I am not super worried about it. It's not black or anything. But in 750 miles, I am debating whether or not to actually change the oil if it continues to darken at this rate to change the oil and change the oil filter and start over again. Thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new, and we will see everyone in the next video.